Usage instructions. Important. Metal objects such as gold, silver, etc., and any electronic devices such as mobile phones, electronic watches, music players, etc., should not be present on the operator who would use the detector. Also, because there could be an interaction from distance, the device should not be used closer than 40-50 meters, around 150 feet, to such electronic devices and cell towers. Otherwise, there might be a faulty result in searches. While searching for a target, other people should not be in front of the operator. Gold, silver objects and electronic devices that could be present on these people might lead to faulty results. Because your locator is made for buried targets, non-buried gold, silver, etc., targets that are far away will not cause negative interference. Long-range locator operating practices Balance search practices with the device Attention! You do not have to turn on the device while conducting these exercises. These are only done to get used to holding the device. The moving module where the antennas are connected rotates on a sensitive bearing and it has about 180 degrees of turning capability. In order for the search to produce healthy results, the operator must get used to holding the device in balance. The operator must hold the device in a position where he comfortably uses the device and he should use his surroundings too that the device would not shake and its balance will not be lost. The scanner antennas are fully opened after the scanner antennas, the probolic antenna and the power tube are connected. The device is held at chest level with the antennas bent down 3 to 5 degrees to the ground. If you stand towards the area you would search, open your feet to the left and right, hold your arm still and search by moving your hip. You will gain and maintain balance easier. It will be beneficial to conduct more than one search in the same area in order to understand whether you are on a right target track. Your device has stronger detection on older buried targets compared to newly buried targets. According to tests that have been made in years and the results of treasure prospectors, the longer the buried target stays on the ground, the stronger the detector will detect and the locating could be done from longer distances or deeper targets. In newly buried targets, even the target itself is old, it is not possible to have a strong detection. If you wait, Three, five days after burying gold, silver for your trials, you would see that your locator would have a stronger attraction. After you are sure that you can comfortably conduct the searches in balance, it is now time to practice for target determination. At this point, you can start target determination practices on the targets that you have buried. 